Stack Bundles was a rapper from Far Rockaway, Queens, who've been murdered in his own neighborhood, okay? They found him in the building lobby around 5 a.m. in the morning with a bullet to the head and a bullet to the neck. And they saying that his chain was actually taken from around his neck as well. Now this guy Stack Bundles wasn't like no big time famous rapper or anything like that. But he was an up and coming rapper who was a part of Bird Gang. He had associates and friends who was in the music business. He was in one of Busta Rhymes videos. He spoke with and hung out with people that was mainstream. Even though he really didn't get to pop the way he was supposed to. Because from what I'm hearing, he was one of the best in the game. He just didn't get his shot yet. I've seen interviews, even with Jim Jones, saying that he was going to be like one of the top ranking rappers. They're saying that's how nice he was. And if you check out his music and listen to his wordplay, the way how he rap, you will have to agree that he's better than most of these guys who are out right now. And what's being heard is that he died over pure jealousy. Because the thing about coming from the hood is that when you doing your thing, you coming up, you nice with the rap and they know you're going to get on, you have a lot of broke, dusty dudes who are going to try and stop that. They don't want to see you be successful. Why? Because they're not successful. And that's the same way how they viewed Stack Bundles. They knew he was going to blow up. Now, there's another story that's been circulating saying that he died because of Zab Judah. They were saying that he was in a club with some of his peoples. You know, he had some goons around him. And they was going to rob Zab Judah. And because Stack Bundle stopped it. Because he knew the guys who was going to rob him. So he stopped it. He said, yo, you can't be doing that. Because I'm trying to get in the game. You know, Zab Judah is already in the game. He knows people. This could probably help me out. So you can't do that right now. Because he's already on. I'm trying to get on. If anything, I should be networking with him. Not, you know, allowing you guys to rob him. So he stopped them from robbing Zab Judah, his own peoples. And they saying because he's done that, that's why he got killed. Because he stopped them from robbing Zab Judah. But that doesn't sound like a real reason to want to kill somebody because he stopped you from robbing somebody. The average person would look at that as if he done you a favor. He stopped you from going to prison. But that could be used as an excuse why they did it. But they probably really did it because they was jealous of him. They probably thought that maybe he was going to get on and not do anything for his people in the hood. So it could have been something like that too. They saying that the way he got caught slipping, he was in the club, you know, with a couple celebrities having fun drinking. And then on his way home, five in the morning, he goes inside his building. And then that's, you know, when the person ran into the lobby and shot him and robbed him. You know, but it's just unfortunate that people be dying before they even get a chance to make money, to become famous, to help other people. And so many people want to get into the game that they have to look at. Not only the good, but the bad also. That sometimes you don't make it to become rich. You don't make it to become famous. Especially if you staying in the hood. How you going to stay in the hood and you blowing up? Your music is on the radio, but you in the hood. Your videos are getting millions and millions of views, but you that makes no sense. The only way you can stay in the hood is if you somebody like, you know, D-Block, you know, AR Ab. Like you got a team with you in the hood. And everybody know your team gets busy. That's the only way you can stay in the hood and be a rapper and making all this money and being all famous like that. Your team got to be known for getting busy to where people are afraid to rob you. People are afraid to try to kill you or to hurt you because they know something is going to happen if they do that. But you just being by yourself or having a couple guys around you and they not really known for doing anything, they're going to get at you. And one last thing is that they say that the person who killed Stack Bundles, he ended up getting killed himself. That they found him dead in an apartment. He had two bullets to the head and a pillow over his head. And that the person who was in the apartment with him, they left outside somewhere. I don't know. They went to the store. They came back up. They seen him dead inside the apartment. And he the one who called the ambulance or whatever. 